yesterday I did Edge One Fours. Today we're going to switch up the brand, um, but a similar size, maybe slightly more of these than than Jordan Fours. Um, but as I said, I'm working through each like silhouette. Slight cheat code in here. There's one of these shoes. It's a slightly different silhouette, but it's the only one in that model that I have, and I'm not going to make a standalone video, um, well at least not in this format about them. So I just I was just like let's just include them here. So without further ado, I'm going to crack through my A6 Jolly 3 collection. See you guys. So just looking here, I've got four, four piles of about four in each pile, four to five in each pile. So it's going to take a little while. So the first box is old, is the old school box basically, like the the old school A6 2015 box. It's just blue and just has that typical A6 branding on it. So US 12 and a half. This is the Hanon. So Hanon store in Scotland. The Solstice Joe Light 3. So a lot of these are going to be collabs. Um, and you can see the Hanon flame just on the back there. So just to work through the colorway, the other shoe is exactly the same. So other than to show some blue laces in there. It's one of those weird ones, I've always kept whites in them. Those blues don't match this blue. This purple doesn't match this purple. So I was kind of just like, whatever. Like neither of them look massively like amazing in the thing, so in the shoe. Also the white lace is really long, so I had to use both top eyelets. It's the only job like three I've ever done that with. But to just to go through, I think these are from 2015, super, super plush, lovely suede's all over. This shoe apparently has a um a thing for like bleeding, lots of people have had to have their pairs re dyed. Mine's absolutely fine. You see a bunch of branding on the insole there. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it has the hand on branding, the hand on flame, um, and then what I'm guessing is a solstice type um, thing. Um, but yeah, just like a fairly simple colorway, purple on the bottom here. It's really rich blue. Um, yeah, they're just really nice um, for the most part. Um, probably heard me say this before but I generally tend to spend most of the summer wearing runners and then most of the, well, the spring and summer wearing runners and then most of the autumn winter wearing my J's um, so that I haven't worn those in a while but um, yeah they will there I wear them a couple of times a year that like most of my shoes you know when you have as many as I have you then get to wear all of them often and as you can see this is where my gel neck threes go um, on the stacks out of shot there is one, two, three, four. There's another line of four all the way across. One, uh, Jordan 1s, Jordan 3s in the middle, and then all of my Deodoras. So my Deodoras are all completely out of shot for these videos. But Another box. This is the new, like, quote-unquote normal box um, from Asics. So that first one was the old one. And this looks more like just like a regular cardboard box. I went TTS with these. Um, check this out, so there's some variation in the the hold um, view. This is a few store in Dusseldorf. Beauty of imperfection. Um, these dropped this year, so early on this year. Really nice colorway. Very very kind of springish. Um, you can see this kind of um, almost like a lavender green really nice and then this really nice um well, what you would call that kind of purple but it's a very very soft purple and then the super super aged midsole with the gum outsole um really nice cork insoles um, with a few and then i think the other side just says um a6 all over just super super plush buttery buttery suede spare laces in that same lavender um, yeah, there's a big backstory to these, uh, not for me personally, but like the, the design, um, like, you know, when the creators do a write up about the design, as you usually expect from a few store, they, they go the extra mile. Um, yeah, it's a whole, it's a Japanese tradition of beauty, the whole beauty and, and perfection 
piece. I'm just gonna keep cracking through so this video is not hugely long. Enormous box, probably the biggest Joe Light 3 box that I have. All the uh, rope chain fencing that you always get to see from Mita or Mita, however you say it. 30th anniversary, so this is 2020, which is the 30th anniversary, so from 2090, 20, 1990, sorry, um, was the year that they started doing them, I guess that means. Never really thought about that, but huge load, a load of gum on the inside of the box. Um, I love these special edition boxes, but they do make it really difficult to store shoes when they come in such different sizes. There was special edition paper, but I'm just taking both shoes out so you can see the inside of the box too. Um, and we'll just pop one back in just for speed purposes. So this is the tree color or tree core. I can't remember how to say it exactly. Um, Mitre sneakers and Asics from 2020. There was a, a 2015 one, which was much more predominantly blue. Um, and then the, the, the three colors, essentially red, blue, and white. Um, so both shoes have kind of stuck to that mold. Um, there is a spare pair of ropes in there that's just white. I personally prefer the blue because otherwise, like there's actually no blue on the inside of the shoe. Um, yeah, just a striking toe box. Obviously it looks like it's been dipped, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then a really, really cool um, outsole. It doesn't look as good now when they're DS. Obviously, I don't, I'm not in the game of keeping shoes DS, but they looked so cool when they were DS. Um, and then the one really, really, really different to everything else feature on here is the zip down the tongue. So next next pair, I'll focus on the split, which is apparently supposed to represent a dragon's tongue. And the Asics is a Japanese brand. It kind of makes sense, but yeah, it's just really different. Um, the chain link fencing stuff is everywhere in the shoe it's in the insole um, it's mitre's um like this their personal touch um, really like this little heel tab little extras that you get blue on the inside on the tiger stripes um yeah they're just they're really nice oh and a bit of almost like jordan 4 style meshing in the middle of the tiger stripes on both black on the outside white on the inside um so yeah. also another pair i generally tend to wear Mostly, most of the wares I've ever, I mean, you can see from the outsole, they're pretty long quite a bit. And I would say every single one of those wares was a set during a spring summer day. Back to the old school box again. Uh, this is actually even older school than that blue one I showed you. So we're seeing the, the, um, the journey that ASICs have gone through on these like typical boxes. This was the, I want to say, probably about 2010 to about 2014 style, I think. Don't quote me on that because I may be wrong. Kith. This pair is from Kith. This is potentially my favourite pair. Um, and if it isn't, it's very close to Miami Dolphins, Ronnie Fike, and Kith. Um, beautiful orange rope laces. They come with spare in the green, in the Dolphins and Miami Dolphin green, and the flat, and also in the Miami Dolphin green. Put both of those in. Um, yeah, lovely shoe, just executed perfectly in typical Ronnie style. Um, this pair also comes with a dust bag. So you can see it's just underneath them. Um, yeah, or mostly, and mostly, um, I keep calling it Miami green, except for teal. Um, what does the Trying to see if there's any colours on here. Miami Fanfare, it just says. Yeah, so it doesn't actually say the, the colour, but it looks like a kind of teal to me. Really, really good um, quality mesh again. Um, completely orange outsole. Um, again, beautiful um, for spring, summer. Um, I generally tend to fit these with a much more pared down overall fit. So gray ferris feral god sweat shorts um white tee black tee something like that um i tend to find with this is such a striking set of colors you either have to be a perfect match and i don't really wear i'm just looking at my clothing i don't really wear anything that's a perfect match and even then it starts to look really bold and like a bit much so so yeah generally I tend to fit them with a more 
um, more simplified with them, super coordinated. But I'm trying to not do all the Ronnies in one go, in one order, because they keep popping up here. Another, like, more typical version of the um, A6 reg regular box. This was the, the regular box just in 2020, because we've seen it says 30th on the front. So this is the 30th anniversary. Uh, one, two. Yeah, I only have two in this exact box. Um, again, a bunch of writing on the inside. Um, this was a beautiful pair. Have I named? Yeah, I've named every single colorway. Um, this is, to me, in this year, in 2020, I feel that, to me, this was the GR of the year. And when I say that, it was like the... What was the pair that was just like super easy to get? Um, you know, you may have even been able to get on sale, but just blew your mind when you got it, and it was this. They actually don't look, they look DS, I can confirm. I have worn these multiple times. I don't know how they look so DS. Yeah, maybe it's just the material, it just not. It just doesn't pick up anything. But yeah, these are smoke, they're called Grand Smoke shark something or other um oh, i should just read the read the box smoke blue grand shark oh and tts again this is when the gel light 3 was officially labeled as og on the box i think it was from 2020 onwards they start adding og on the box and it basically implies that shape change um but yeah just to speed up again smoke blue and then grand shark i guess this is smoke blue and then this is grand shark um Maybe this is Grand Shark, I don't, I don't know. But it's just a beautiful colorway. Um, it's really nice, simple, beautiful colorway. More of a grown up kind of geezer shoe. Um, you know, if you, again, you could fit that with some simple kind of like gray sweat, sweat shorts. Um, and, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna look, for a, geez, for a guy who has sneakers on, you're gonna look pretty professional. There's one down here I am actually saving for last because they're not mine, but it is a gel. It's one of the only gel light threes that I still don't have that I really want. Um, and my missus has them. Um, so I was like, while I'm making a video about gel light threes, I'm going to bring them for the video. Bring them upstairs for the video. Special edition concept box. Obviously a collab. Um, colorway reads coral coral cloud pure silver um, and this is the concept of toro um, meant to represent the um, the really expensive cuts of the tuna from the japanese cuisine um, spare pair of laces in here that are wasabi colored the insole the inside actually looks like a japanese tattoo style um, which is really also really cool um, and then yeah the colorway is basically just like a mixture of tu like tuna or tuna if you're american um uh, shades and colors and then all of this trim around the sh the 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 asics sign and then these two little bits here and then a pop at the back is all done in a like a metallic um chef's knife style so just to show um, that kind of cuisine element to the, to the whole concept. Um, yeah, I have a fair few concept or concepts, um, pairs, um, whole Teodoras, uh, Asics, and now obviously the, the Air Max Ones from this year, the heavies, which I've banged on about to anyone who will listen. Do, 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 where do we go now? Okay, so the other half of ECP, East Coast Pack, Ronnie. Again, that from early noughties, not normal box. New York Knicks. So the other half of that pack with the, with the Miami Dolphins, but the color blocking is completely different. So this is much more of a kind of split. I think pretty more similar to the um, the solstice um, blocking, um, where you have like two colors 
one of them, the upper half of the upper, so like over the over the midsole is color A, and then the rest is color B. Um, I have in again. I say every time I like rope. Not only do I like ropes, I also like the lace to. If there's an option, if there's a non-black and white option, I like the lace to contrast with the tongue um, to just add a bit more of a pop. Um, as I say that, they do have black. It's actually blue and black um, ropes as well. Nothing. Yep, there is something on the other side. Oh, blue flats. The flats just always get relegated into the box when it comes to my collection, but I don't think they look bad. I just prefer this. Um, so yeah, much, much more kind of autumnal. Um, that pumpkin spice um, or orange and the next colours, but again, it's a great pair. Really, any time of year. Um, okay, I think really the only pair that I haven't worn these. Not sure I've actually worn these yet. Yes, I have. Okay, so again, that 30th anniversary box. It's the other one, that 30th anniversary box. So I have to always have to like realign these when they when they come out of the box. Um, so this is the end clothing pearl. It's called um, lavender grey and ivory. Lavender grey. No, lavender grey ivory, maybe. I went TTS also, um, and it has this, one of the things I really love about this, you actually do have it, the end branding on the tips of the laces and end branding on the inside. Um, the pearl is, I think it's like a 30 year wedding anniversary gift, typically. Might actually put the flats in these. Um, I do quite like the flats. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's traditionally a 30 year anniversary, like wedding anniversary gift. So end clothing were like, okay, let's use that as the 30 year celebration for the silhouette. So it was on like the, yeah, um, the 30th birthday of the Joel Light 3. Um, which is, I thought was a pretty like discreet but really nice touch. Um, end clothing are amazing uh, when it comes to collabs. Um, I'll show a couple of end collabs most likely when it comes to my um, the Diodora version of this. Right, I'm going to crack through these. I've shown these quite a lot recently because of my end of year. This is my favourite Joe Light 3 from this year, 2022. Politics, Sneaker Politics, Derek Perry collab. I'll be really quick with this. I'll put this side out of the box three times in the last few days. Here they are. Always ready to celebrate his time in the military. Um, tons of extras that came with the in-store. I queued up, um, so I live just north of Dallas. So it's like a 30 minute drive to get to the store, which is right down the heart of downtown. Um, so I, yeah, so I got the in-store version, which is a nice touch. Another special edition box. Keeping going, Kith and Ronnie Fike, you can see there. This one is a flip lid. Just trying to read the colorway, it just says burgundy. So I mentioned earlier about the um, um, the Miamis being potentially like my favorite. Um, I would say uh, if I was completely like pushed to it, I would say this Volcano, Volcano 2.0, is the Jarlet 5, came out a few years before um, in this colorway. Ronnie branding on the insole. I would say it's this pair, those Miamis, and then there's one more that I'm gonna bring up, which are also Ronnie. Um, he just seems to know his way around the Jarlet 3, as well as the Jarlet 5. Um, yeah, just a bunch of different, like really nice colors. I've kept the, the, the kind of peach flats in there. Those rope, burgundy ropes, burgundy flats that I just pulled out as like alternate laces. And then these are quite cool as well. This is the typical that I would put into this shoe, you know, based on all of the other ones. 
Um, I think just the last time I wore these, um, I was going somewhere where it was a bit more formal um, and I wanted something a bit more discreet. So I changed them up. So likely go with the ropes back in again at some point. Another different type of box. This one, you can clearly see Ronnie Fye written all over it again. So it's more kith stuff. It's more kith stuff. White dusty step, step steep, S T E P P E. So he, uh, Ronnie, did in 2020. I want to say it was. Let's see if there's a production date on here. There isn't. Yeah, no production date. But he did three pairs. I have two of them. I did not get the super gold. Um, I think it was called, um, but yeah, this super rose, the ro something rose, just beautiful. It's really simple, but they're just it's just a beautiful, beautifully made shoe. Um, does come with a ton of spare laces. I'll just get the flat whites in. I think I don't really like any of the other options, pink and blue. The blue seems a bit random. It only really ties into the fire writing up here, and um, so it's so discreet that. You know, it seems a bit out of place. Um, yeah. One of my go-tos for last, this and last summer, more than quite a lot in the summer, but they are, again, they're, it's like a very like fragile colorway. You, you don't want to like, step in a puddle with those on. And the other one that I have, same box, but blacked out. These are the 250. 252.2s or two, God, what was it? The colorway says classic red, rich gold. I also went TTS. Yeah, the 250, 252.2. I'll fact check myself um, on that. Wrong. It's difficult with these shooting videos, your brain can go blank a little bit. Spare blue ropes in there, fig on the inside. Probably the darkest runner. That I have in terms of colorway. Um, so I typically way prefer lighter colors, actually on all shoes, not just runners, but especially on runners. Um, so I don't actually have any other black runners at all. Um, really like the gold hit. Could be tacky. Uh, Ronnie pulls it off well. And then obviously the, the pink toe, that kind of salmon toe. Um, I don't have the salmon toe, so it's a real anyone's thoughts We're waiting for them um and then just another kith i said i was going to cheat you can see kith on the box this box is a bit feet um this is actually a jolac five dust bag that came with them spare spare gray flats spare white flats as you can see from what I've said earlier, I always keep the, the ropes in there. There's the Salmon Toe Jar Light 5. And I don't have the, the Salmon Toe Jar Light 3, so hence why I wanted to show it. Kith and Asics branding. On the inside, and then a spare Salmon and the Navy Blue, which comprises a good three quarters of the upper. Still one running pair down there, believe it or not. And we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do the pair that's not mine right at the very end. And my favorite pair just before that. So this is another, I mentioned with the smoke gray and the, the shark pair, that that was like my, my, just my favorite GR of the year. As you can see, this is actually still attached. So these are DS, I've just really been looking for a kind of special um, reason to undes these, and I have so many pairs that I just haven't felt the need to yet. But this is the sea foam or the pine pair in the Kadamatsu pack that came out. There was a cherry blossom version as well, which I wasn't as much of a fan of. You can see here, it's a little hangy thing, has that detail on there. The, the other one was like a, more of a pink 
pinkish kind of pair. And I have a fair few pairs that have some pink on them. So I just grabbed this one. Um, it's uh, It represents the decorations that are seen through Japan around New Year. Um, just an amazing um, uh, GR. Like this could be a Ronnie pair easily. Yeah, so I think that's the only DS pair that I do have. Yeah, the only pair that's DS. And they're not DS because they're difficult to fit. I just haven't, really haven't gotten around to it. Three pairs left. More special edition. And, and clothing. So you can have a huge box. This is the end clothing wasabi. I have the pink laces in, as you can see. Also see heavily, heavily worn. They come with wasabi flats. They all have end written on the end of the lace tips. And then there is also a flat, which is the same style as this, but just in the wasabi green. This did actually come with a, 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 one, a, a, a soy sauce dish and a pair of chopsticks. They're just not in the box. I think I actually have used them to eat food with. Um, so, so yeah, really nice. Um, and I love this little piece on the, on the end here. Um, really nice colors, leather lined. Um, people always give the shape a bunch of shit or like a lot of stick. I don't actually think the shape on my pair is bad at all. Let's call them Aladdin slippers. Um, pair, my pair looks absolutely fine. But yeah, that is the end clothing wasabi. Final two. This is my personal favorite and is up there with the, those Miami Dolphins um, and the Volcanoes. Again, more OG box. Here we go, light three. Ronnie. Flamingo. And again, ropes in. Um, they come with flats, flat pinks. Um, yeah, just this beautifully beautiful nutty brown. Um, again, with the um, the mesh in the middle, beautiful mesh on the toe. Just an overall stellar, stellar pair. They'll always be one of my faves. And then the final one, I've been trying to get these for myself for so long. They're so expensive in my size. But I did one day stumble across these in my lady, lady friend's size. And so I bought them for her as a present. Um, and she has worn them a lot. Dust bag. can see laces again with that style but that is in a petite little six size six the a few store times beams times a6 orange koi so it meant to represent koi fish um, and you can see a lot of the koi fish um, underneath there on the outsole some speckling on the midsole which is beautiful a bunch of stuff on the back including the a few store logo um, just really, really nice tumbled, um, not tumbled, sorry, plush suede, and then all wooden, wooden bits on the aglet, on the lace holes even. Um, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pair, and then some fresh scale on the black um, tiger stripes, the, the A6 tiger stripes. Lovely, but special edition box. Um, there is a bigger special edition box, but I mean, these cost an arm and a leg anyway, so. I'm just kind of adding to that. So yeah, that is a run through of my gel light threes plus one gel light four, uh, gel light five even. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed watching it. Um, yeah, thanks for viewing.